Okay, step three. I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to start up the bot, how to run it, and how to go through the menu options. Um, other videos, I'll show you how to actually use each one, what they do, and what they're good for. But anyways, you can see I got the reactor. <clears throat> I'm logged in, but I don't have it loaded. Um, I just got it waiting. I'm going to go into my folder and look for the square uh, UB icon with the stream client you can either click it and run or you can right click on it which most people have to do and run as administrator it's gonna pop up it's gonna show me logged in um, my but this is your forum login whatever you use to log into the forum that's what you're gonna use here pick the game you're about to play and then stream cheat. I like to keep my inject um, on a two or a three. Depending on your computer speed, you might have to adjust it. If you notice you're getting errors, try making it a little little longer. Um, if you, especially if your game takes a while to load. Then you're gonna go over and you're gonna click game start. And you'll notice where it says searching for Valiant Alliance of Valiant Arms, it's gonna say injection successful which means it's now been injected into your client and you're almost ready to roll as the game's loading you notice Nvidia screen pop up when that does happen you click enter and when you click enter that's going to show you that um, your hacks are there and I'll show you exactly what I mean um, just in case there's a glitch and for some reason it doesn't load with your game You'll know right away so you can log out and reload it. Sometimes you actually got to shut down the reactor and close everything out, re-log in to make it work. But for the most part, I can't say that I've had many problems. Bingo. See, it says Unreal Bot has been successfully loaded. Okay, now we're on the map. So this is the next step. I'm going to clear out everything just to get it out of the way. Um, I'm gonna try to make this lobby mode. I don't know why it didn't work here. Okay, so then anyways, you're going to press home key. I'm going to move this down a little bit because I know it's kind of getting cut off by my video, but. Alright. Alright, the first tab, aiming, auto aim. This will make your character automatically aim at things. If you're playing anything but BG, you can aim at the head, neck, or spine and... I like to go for the neck or spine, especially like in AL missions. That way people don't, you don't get a headshot every time, but you do get a lot of headshots. And this way, if you aim at the head, you get a headshot every time. Kind of makes you look like a hacker. When you play BG Extreme, we'll get into this in other videos, but the pelvis is the one that aims at the um, pikes. So anyways, that is your auto aim. So... You got your aim key. Now, when you're playing in player versus player, which I don't do, or any other map, um, when you're running around, if you don't have a toggled aim key, you're going to aim at anything that gets within your radar. So your character will go out of control. If you don't like that effect, you can change it so that your middle mouse button or tab or enter. I like enter. So if you set it up with enter, every time you hit enter, you'll aim at something. And this way, it's more realistic and less um, hack looking. You can limit your angle of what you'll hack at. Um, it comes stock set on 90. So that's a 90 degree angle left and right. Um, you can do 180, which is all the way around. Um, you can do smooth aim. This is how fast you'll spin and aim at stuff. Now, um, a lot of people like to keep it looking realistic, so they keep it low. 
but if you're in it to win it, um, you put it up high. As soon as something comes within your radar, bang, you're on it, and you're you're um, ready to shoot. Now, if you don't like shooting, you can go to the fire tab and click auto fire. Now, every time something gets in your radar, bang, you aim, it automatically shoots. Um, again, I keep these options off, and only because when you play solo missions, I use one position kill. And I'll explain in a minute, but if you run one position kill with any of the other hacks, a lot of people's um, game will crash. So if you're going to use one position kill and you're playing solo, you have to shut the other hacks off. Visuals, you can render enemies only, which is cool because you don't need to see your teammates and it just causes a lot of chaos on your screen. Um... But if you render enemies only, it'll show where your enemies are, if they're hiding behind walls or anywhere they are on the map. 3D radar shows how far away they are. The boxes start out real small. As you get close, they get bigger. You can change the colors. Um, you can see their name tags, how much health they have, what weapon they're using, the distance. Um, you can see grenades, dog tags, all the good stuff. I'm going to shut this stuff off. Removals. Um, remove recoil. Y your gun will have absolutely zero recoil, which is a cool feature. Um, I know like with some, well, like with para, <clears throat> para is hard to shoot. You use no recoil, and it'll shoot in a straight line. Remove spread. It'll stop it from, from shooting. It'll stop it from spreading left to right on you. <clears throat> Hit effects is an awesome one. If you're shooting someone and they get a shot in on you, your gun bounces up. As, as you get shot, you bounce back. It removes that hit. Now, it only does this on your screen. So, other players cannot see that you have these removed. Weapon Bob. I know when you walk and you run, your gun goes left to right. That removes that. Remove smoke. If somebody throws a smoke bomb on the ground... You can see through it. You will not see the smoke on your screen. Last one. We have spam bot. <clears throat> if you click that, that will post links for Unreal Bot so that other people know where you got your hacks from. Um, it will spam it tremendously, so be careful with it. Name Stealer. Okay, this one's kind of tricky. If you leave it on, it will just keep stealing new names. And if somebody's watching it, they'll see... Joe Schmo, John Joe, Joe Schmo, John Doe. You don't want that. If you click it once, click it off, you'll steal a name and you'll stick with that name. So if if you steal one of the bots' names, you'll stay as, you know, an ABA player and it'll stay that whole round. So if somebody thinks you're hacking, they're going to think you're somebody else. Super jump, you can jump twice as high, which is cool, getting up on roofs, fences, places you normally can't get. And then one position kill. That's the one PK everybody talks about. I'll show you guys how to use this stuff in the next video. But um, keep in mind you use the home key, which is on your keyboard. Normally above the arrows, you'll see a cluster of buttons. It's usually right in the middle, somewhere near the top right-hand side of your keyboard. But anytime you want to open or close your menu, you can. And whatever your menu is set at, when you shut your game off and restart it, remember that is what your menu is going to go back to. It's not going to stay. So if you have one position kill on and you turn the game back on with the bot, join a room, you're going to start killing everybody. Keep that in mind and you'll be all set. Thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll keep them coming.